is Victor and today I'm going to show you how to create your very own Discord bot. Now this is essentially going to be a tutorial on how to just create a template for a bot that you can write your own commands that you want that bot to have. However, I'm not going to show you how to do any of those commands and this will just be how to set one up. If that's what you want, then make sure to stick around until the end of the video um, and we will write one command just to show you. First thing you're going to want to do is come to the Discord Developer Portal, link in the description, create a new application, name your bot, so just some bot. And once you're inside of here, you're going to want to go, you're going to want to go to bot, add bot, and say yes. So then you created your bot, and you're going to go to OAuth2 URL generator, click bot, and administrator. You can change permissions if you want, however it's super simple just to administrator because then it'll have all permissions. It'll give you this link down here, you can copy and paste this in, and then it will get you the bot to join your server. Now make sure it's a server you have permissions on go through the captcha and if i go to my discord server the bot will be on my server there you can see it's not online right now so now the next thing i'm going to do is go to replit i'm going to create a new repl node.js and then just my first discord bot obviously name it whatever you like now we're going to try to minimize coding here but it will require some coding so the first thing we're going to want to do is install some packages. We of course want the discord.js package. This does work in Python as well. If you want a tutorial for that, then let me know. I am just doing a discord or a JavaScript one. So make sure to wait until it's fully finished running, then install your next package, which is going to be express. And we're just going to install express. Wait for the console to finish running. All right, and now you've installed your packages. Now we can go back to our file control right here. Now inside of the shell, we're gonna have and paste this command that I will drop down in the description below. And then all of this will run. Wait for that to finish. And now that this is finished running, we're gonna go to package.json and we're gonna add a new script, which is gonna be the start script. And you're gonna do this exactly as I do it. So make sure it looks exactly the same. And now you can move on from package.json. So now we're going to go right here and go to show hidden files dot replit. And what we're going to print inside of here is run equals npm start. And that's all you need to do there. Now you can hide these hidden files. Inside of index.js, now we're going to start some coding. So we're going to do const express equal to require express, which is just installing essentially the express package const app is equal to express you don't have to actually understand this code however it is nice to understand so let me know if you want a better description and there you go and now express is set up so we're going to set up discord so const now right here this is going to be when you receive a message in your Discord server, you're gonna respond. So here we're gonna say, essentially, we're gonna say, if your message is whatever you want the message to be. So say we wanna say, message is hello. We're gonna to want to get a response. Now that's all you need for your very first command. This is how you write a command where you, if you receive a message, you can reply to that message. Um, now this is just a template for your bot. There's Discord documentation for the discord.js uh, library that you can look at if you want more detailed things to do with your bot. This is just a template setup. Now we're also gonna have to log in using our environmental secret tokens that we have yet to set up. So we're gonna set these up right now. So client.login of course you need to know which discord bot you're using inside of here you're just going to write the key token and the value here is going to be your secret token from your discord bot but the place you get the token is right here and i will of course reset that after i finish this video so i had a new secret and you can just skip this step because i did it right here for you so you got it and now you're good next we're just going to run and of course, I always have to mess something up while coding, so I forgot to capitalize the C. So we're just going to stop that again. But as you can see, we had the running in Hello World messages because we set up Express correctly, and now it's working correctly. If I go to my Discord server, 
As you can see, the bot I set up earlier, some bot is online. Now let's test something inside of this channel. Actually, not that channel because I made that read only earlier today. Um, so inside of this channel, we're going to write the message that we said over there, which was hello. And the bot replied, goodbye. This is a level up channel, so it removes my message. That wasn't part of the bot. It's just another bot I have going on in here. But you can see your bot is set up and it works. Now, if you want to know how to keep your bot up all the time, I have another video that includes that, and I will put that in a card at the end of this video right now. Um, however, it's online right now. While you're running this replit, it will continue to be online, and you can continue to code in there. If this video worked for you and helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.